Hey yeah, so this is it. This is the last um, cigar that I'm going to be smoking as part of my cigar challenge. Um, I thought I'd do a video for this one because I thought it'd be a bit different. Um, I probably sound like a bit of a dickhead, but let's give it a shot. Who cares? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is the book that I've been using. Um, a little bit background around this book is that I bought it years ago when I was like uh, probably 15 or 16. Um, and I was really curious about cigars. I kind of wanted to find out, you know, what the best ones were. So I got this book, and I remember I was just like quite blown away by how many there were. And um, I was like, I'd never ever be able to get through all of those. Um, so at the beginning of this year, when we was in lockdown, I thought, why not uh, give myself a challenge? Because I was pretty bored of smoking the same cigars all the time, um, which weren't great. They weren't good cigars that I was smoking. I think it was the Quor Quorum. Can't even pronounce it properly, but I was smoking them. They were just the cheapest that I could get. That were kind of like the right size, the right ring gauge, um, and they lasted. Yeah, I can't, you know, but there was no. Fl I didn't really get much flavour from it. Uh, you know, so I wanted to try something new. Tried something new. Set myself the challenge to try every single cigar brand in this book uh, at the beginning of the year. So this all at the end of last year, actually, just as we was in another lockdown. And uh, yeah, didn't think I'd complete it because I normally start stuff and give up because <laughs> I get bored. Um, what was interesting was that I didn't really know how many cigars there were and I will do a count after this video to find out how many I've smoked. Um, but there were a lot there that were, this book was like in the 90s or something. So um, yeah, the problem with that is that uh, yeah, a lot of cigars aren't even available anymore. Um, sorry about the background noise, but um, yeah. A lot of the cigars weren't available, so I couldn't get them. So I've got them on like a little wish list. Um, but there were a lot that were available. Um, and obviously they're a lot newer now. Um, and they don't really cater. This book doesn't really cater for like the New World cigars or the non-Cuban cigars that are available right now. So that's kind of probably something I'm going to start investigating next, trying out. Um, but yeah, here we go. So the last one in the book is the Zeno. So uh, normally I sort of read these and then do a bit of online research find out a bit more about it but yeah the Zeno cigar was uh, by Zeno Davidoff uh, this was he was actually creating this for the American market it seems um, when his main brand was still made in Cuba Zeno is a well tailored Honduran cigars which come in three bands what else is there blah 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 blah, blah. yeah so I don't know how different they are from Davidoff's yeah, the David, normal Davidoffs and the Zenos. I don't know what the differences are, um, but I'm interested in trying it out. Um, I've got this one here. This is a new one, I think, a new relaunch version of this brand that got like uh, came out earlier this year. Uh, I've seen a lot of people try these out, so I'm really keen to find out. Uh, yeah, what what it's what it's like. I've not heard the best reviews on it, I must say, um, but I'm going to give it a shot um, and see how it goes. So that's me. So I've just cut the cap of the cigar. I've had this in my humidor for probably about a couple of weeks now, and um, I'm not sure whether my humidor is actually ruining it <laughs> or not. Um, but it's, it's not dry, this cigar, which is okay, and it's not wet, so it's kind of like in between, which is pretty cool. Here we go, let's try it. So I'm actually quite enjoying this cigar, like my expectations were quite low, I must say, um, and actually it's exceeded my expectations a little bit, it's a bit better than what I imagined and what I heard about, so actually I don't know what I'd rate it at the moment, it's a bit hard to rate right now, but I'm definitely um, yeah, getting more of that kind of like earthy, woody kind of flavour notes, and I'm definitely getting um, just a little bit of sweetness and a bit of spiciness. But the spiciness has definitely died down actually. Mm. Mm. Good. It's 
good so far. Is it like a Davidoff? Well, I've been smoking a lot of like um, late hour uh, Winston Churchill late hour Robustos, and um, oh, they're just my favourite cigar, like one of my favourite cigars. And uh, this don't go anywhere near that, but this is not bad. This is not bad. I'm not sure if it's similar to a Davidoff though. They are, are they? Is the Zeno and the Davidoff, what are the connections? I don't know. There's no Davidoff written on the branding. Uh, yeah. Sam needs to learn more about, I guess, but. Fuck yeah, no, I like it. It's good. Good stuff. Yeah, so I'm really rating this cigar. This Zeno, this Zeno uh, cigar is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna give it like probably a 7.5 out of 10, I think, or maybe an 8. 7.5. No, let's give it an 8 because actually it's it's been much better than what I expected. So I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. It's a really good, um, really good burn. Really good. Uh, you know, well, well made cigar, I think, because the ash is really tight on it. Um, no problems like having to relight or anything. Really smooth, smooth, creamy smoke. Really, really nice. Yeah, really good cigar. That's a shit review there. <laughs>